Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Oklahoma, and uh, I thought I'd share an idea with you, and the idea is really about um, um, a concept that I find very interesting, but it's very, very common. Uh, I was actually working with a person who lives in um, either Ukraine or Russia is a Slavic nation, and, and she was telling me something about this concept that if she meets her friends or her family and when she meets them, you know, what they would do is they would never say, well, how are you doing? They would never say, well, you know, my life is really wonderful. It's all great. You know, I got a raise. What they would do is they would dumb it down. They would like say, oh, you know, uh, my husband is, is horrible or my children are acting badly or my dog died or something to, to dumb it down, make it or to, to uh, not to be too boastful. And I said, well, why is that? Why, why would y'all do that? It's such a strange uh, behavior from the way I see it. She says, well, if you, if you think too highly of yourself or you, or you say something good going on in your life, you could hurt somebody's feelings. I said, interesting, very interesting behavior. And then also in Australia, they have this concept called uh, the tall poppy seed syndrome. And what that means is like if, if someone is, is thinking too highly of themselves, there's always somebody more than willing to cut them down, knock them neck down to the ground. And so uh, this behavior and action is, is very, very common in a U.S. culture as well. Um, you know, you don't want to be too egotistical or think too highly of yourself. And, and um, and when somebody starts to think too highly of themselves, there's always somebody more than willing to help put them down, to, to put your thumb on top of them. And it's not really a good, good system. And, and of course, if you belong to a group, and, and in this group or this, this uh, you call it a religious group, you can call it any type of group, and if, if you think on your own and to have your own value and your own power and your you're not easily gullible, you're just not a good member. Or you think highly of yourself. Because see, it's easier to manipulate people who don't like themselves very much. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, as a child, um, I mean, we were always constantly bombarded with negativity. You're, you're a worthless piece of crap. You'll never amount to anything. You're stupid. You're a loser. And this has been a major part of growing up, and, and it's not a good part. And so people in cultures, they take on this ministry, I would call it a ministry, because we're all ministers of something. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, produce and support certain actions and behaviors. And so when I just started discovering, you know, I, you know, because I'm a spiritual person, I'm not really religious at all, but you know, I was reading some of the things and I discovered that if you learn to love yourself, if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, that means if you like yourself, that means you'll treat your neighbor better. I thought that's an interesting concept. So if you start liking yourself more and the more you like yourself, the better your life becomes. Well, the problem is, is when you start thinking highly of yourself, guess what happens? There's always someone who thinks very lowly of themselves and you think it's bad to like yourself and to be proud of what you do. Now, you know, of course, my belief is, and, and I, this is my ministry, if you want to call it a ministry, is that I believe that you're perfect. I believe that you're an awesome person. I believe that, that you're great at what you do and what you produce. And from this production, you manifest and produce in the world. Now, of course, if I believe that about you, what do I believe about myself? Well, I believe I'm a great person. Now, granted, most of my life, I wasn't great. I was a piece of crap. I was a hoodlum. I would never amount to anything. So I began to learn that if I learn to love myself and think highly of myself, the more likely I will produce greater results in my life. What a novel idea. Learn to like yourself. Hmm. That's crazy. So you don't want to think too highly of yourself. Because, you know, in the culture, that's what, have, that's what people have done is beat themselves up. See, another thing too with, with this attitude about putting yourself down or putting other people down, that's a ministry. It's keeping you in alignment with every 
thing that you've been taught, every bad behavior, because you have to realize every bad behavior has a positive intention behind it. I know it sounds crazy. There was a, there was a client that I was working with, and so we started working with her life, and of course she was raised up in an environment to where mom was always unhappy, always griping and finding fault with her brothers. And of course she was a small girl hiding in the room, pretending and wishing, you know, this stuff wasn't happening. And so then they would go on trips and mom would maybe wouldn't be picking on her brother, they'd be picking on her father. And she's always picking and finding fault with her father. Well, this young girl grows up and now she's, she's doing the same thing, but she does it in different ways, a better way, more justified way, of course. And, and she'll find it with corporations or bosses or, or people that she may date or not date or with the dog. Or, and so then she keep following this pattern over and over again and always looking to find something wrong. Even though it's not good consciously, we're, we're talking consciously, we know it's not a good thing to do, but we're easily justified in the bad behaviors. And so we all have a ministry. We all have a purpose. We all have a belief. We all have an attitude. And I suggest if your attitude isn't so healthy, isn't so good, let it bother you. Let it bother you and then tap until it doesn't bother you. I suggest going back and look at the models that you've learned from, you know, watching your mother do this or watching or listening and being in church or, or, or remembering memories when they said mean things to you that hurt you. Always go back and clean up what you hold within you. Again, let me remind you, uh, this moment right now, as you're watching this video, is real. Anything that you remember before this moment is not real. And what makes it seem real is your body's reaction. And by the way, when you remember what happened to you at 12, 5, last week, they're not doing it to you. It's you. Because you are the movie director, you're all actors in the play, and every memory is an affirmation. That means you're affirming this behavior, even if you say you don't like it. So remember, clean up what you hold within you against you. Clean up what you feel now about it. And as you clean this up, make sure you change it to what you do want. Change it to how you want to see it. Change it how you would like for it to be in your future. And as you do that, you're going to create a new you. And creating a new you will create a new world for yourself. And when people find something wrong with you, do like I do. I say in myself, hmm, interesting behavior. This is really about yourself. Because what bothers someone is coming from where? within that person. So make peace with yourself. Think highly of yourself. Treat yourself nice. And if people don't like it, understand. That's just how they are. They don't want you to think too highly of themselves because they don't think too highly of themselves and they want you to be just like them. And we always want somebody to be just like us. We always want to give what our, our belief system supports, holds, and maintains, and we justify our bad behavior. So make peace with the bad behaviors. Make peace with yourself. Learn to love yourself. Be nice to yourself. And as you do that, I promise you one thing, your world will get better, and there'll be opportunities for you to heal because somebody else won't like it because they don't like themselves either. It reminds me, you know, when. You know, I started out with traditional style EFT. Even though I love and accept myself, people say, I just don't like that. I don't like saying I love and accept myself. Well, what does that say about you? Learn to love and accept yourself. Learn to love you for who you are, what you are now. Now, if you don't, if you hate yourself, you judge yourself, you condemn yourself, you despise yourself, you hate your body, you hate the way you look, what are you doing to yourself, really? Aren't you cursing yourself? Aren't you making things harder on yourself? Again, be nice. I know you justify it, but stop it. Because what you do to you, you do to others. This is Robert Smith. I'm here in Oklahoma, and it's a beautiful morning here. Nice fall day. I have a seminar coming up Monday, training level 2-3, and then a tap fast the following weekend. And of course, this is October, and close to the end of the month is Halloween. There's no trick, but do treat yourself well. 
Talk to you later. Ciao.